I'm Tom from DIY Life Tech, and this is a look at whether the Fitbit Charge 5 will track your SpO2 or blood oxygen level. And the answer is that yes, it will, but there's some caveats with that. Um, so the biggest one is that you can't take an instantaneous reading of your SpO2. So you can't decide, you know, oh, okay, I wanna, I wanna take a reading, see what it is right at the moment. Instead, what the Charge 5 is gonna do is track your SpO2 overnight. So while you sleep, it has a little sensor, it's against your skin, it's tracking that number throughout the night. And then you can go and um, swipe up here on the screen and we can scroll down through our different uh, daily um, metrics here. And keep scrolling, keep scrolling, we get to our sleep metrics and there's our SpO2 reading for the previous night. So mine was 96% for the previous night. So you basically have to wait until the morning and then sync this and again, it's gonna give you the overnight value there. So if you want to use it to take an instantaneous reading, you are out of luck. But again, you can get that reading on the device. The um, SpO2 app is installed by default in select countries. If it's not in your country, you can go into the Fitbit app on your phone, go into the apps gallery and install it. Uh, and there's some other places we can see this data. So here's the Fitbit app on my phone. We're going to go to health metrics. Give that a moment to load. Um, you can see the uh, blood oxygenation level listed here for the previous night. We can go into that and we can actually see a chart of what our SpO2 um, or oxygen saturation level was for the last uh, week in this case. So you can see how it bounces around. It's all within my personal range. Um, if there was any discrepancy where it was above or below my own personal range, I would see that graphed here. Um, and then we can drill down and see more detailed information there if we want to. Uh, again, as they note here, it's not intended for medical purposes. Um, and again, it's not really uh, intended to be something that would um, be an instantaneous reading to see what your level is right now. It's more tracking trends over time while you're asleep. And um, again, you know, the reason for that most likely is that Fitbit is really hoping in the future to focus on um, tracking you know, sleep problems and um, potentially getting FAA approval, or sorry, FDA rather approval to do that. Um, so I think they're working towards that and starting to track SpO2 while you're asleep gives some useful metrics on sleep quality and can potentially in the future, although again, not right now from a medical perspective, identify some sleep problems. Um, so can't get instantaneous readings, but you can graph it in the app, you can get it on the um, watch and it actually does have the sensors to be measuring that information. If you found this helpful in any way, uh, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps.